Hi guys, it's raining outside, it's too cold, so I'm gonna talk only about small issue that I encountered in the last uh, convention I've been in. In the previous video I explained why Uber can succeed in smaller town and succeed only in metropolis, and I used hustle distance to explain it. I leave you a link if you want to see it. Uh, you better see it before this video. In this video I'm gonna explain how come taxi stations succeed. If taxi is so much like Uber, how come taxis succeed in smaller cities while Uber doesn't? So let's start. Just to make it clear, this is what we see. This is the usage. And if this is the city size, And we have here Metropolis. And here Smallville. We can see that Uber is here. This is the profile for Uber. Only in larger Metropolis cities and never in small towns. While taxi stations you can find in this distribution. So the question is if I showed in the previous uh, section about hustle distance, you can look it over. If I showed that uh, Uber can't succeed by definition in Smallville, how come taxi station uh, does exist there and what's the difference, what the real difference between taxi station and Uber? Of course, if Uber could take it, there is actually here, there is a blue ocean. that they can't tap into. So in this video I, I'm going to explain what's the difference, why there are still taxis in the larger cities that Uber can't take over, and why Uber can't work in these small cities, or rather more, why taxis can. This is Uber. So, let's start. The main thing that people are missing is actually the difference between reliability and availability. So, let's draw it as two-dimensional graph. Let's say we have reliability versus availability, and I'm going to explain each term. So, the first term is uh, availability. Availability means I can have uh, the transportation mean wherever I want. I can order a, a, a ticket for that transportation uh, whenever I want and from wherever I want. So both time and space. That's availability. Okay, so let's set it as low and high. And reliability is something different. Reliability is once I have a ticket, the trip is guaranteed. So if that's reliability low and high, So here we can map all the transportation mean and understand the difference between them. Let me start with the one that is that most explain those issues, plane. Plane actually have very low availability. I can't take the plane from my place. I need to go to the airport. If I want to go from here to Lisbon, there's only one or two options per week. So it's really not available. 
I, I always need to book the ticket in advance. I need to, uh, to set my time schedule according to the airplane uh, schedule, according to the airline schedule, and I cannot do the reverse. So actually a plane is somewhere here. It's a plane. Okay, it's very low on availability, but very high on reliability. Once I have a ticket, I'm guaranteed to take that ride. There's no way that I'm going to get to that place, uh, to the airport, and for some reason, there will not be a, a place for me on the airplane. Of course, there's always room for improvement, but in most cases. So in most cases, a plane is high reliability, but low availability. So now let's map all the other transportation mean according to this uh, space. First of all, let me show you an area, this area, with low availability and low reliability, where no one can live, because if there will be ever any transportation mean here, it will not work. It, it will be so poor that no one's going to take it. And there is another area, this area actually, where availability is so high that it makes, actually, it creates reliability. And this is where Uber is. Okay? So this is Uber. Uber doesn't care about reliability. You can only have high reliability for Uber when you have high availability, when there are enough Uber in the street. So whenever there's enough Uber in the street, you can rely on the service. But you can't be sure that you're going to get an Uber ride when availability is low. For instance, at high peak hours, Uber drops along this line. And this is Uber on peak hours. And this is also Uber on Smallville, where Uber can't get the fleet to be big enough. They drop here until they get to a place with low reliability. So let's map other transportation means here. First of all, let's map our own car. Our own car will be here. Private car. Our private car is always both available to us and reliable to us. This is the reason that the car is such a great transportation if we are looking just at this graph. We need to understand whoever wants to fight cars or to beat cars or I don't know, needs to understand that both from availability terms and reliability terms, our private car is a great product actually. We are looking at a great product. This is the reason that it works. So that's our private car. Where is the train? Well, the train is somewhere here. This is the train. The reason is that the train is it's an old-fashioned train. The train is not that available for me. I need to go to the train station. I need to wait till the train arrives. However, once the train is there, once I'm at the train station, I have very high reliability. So I can't order a train whenever I want, but once I, have, once I have a ticket actually in the train, once I arrive to the train station, I'm very confident that I'm going to get to my destination on a specific time. The reliability is very high. So that's the train station. Where is the bus? If you'll think about it, buses are somewhere here. They are more available than train in most cases. They are less reliable. I'm, I may enter, I may be in a specific place 
where uh, the bus will skip the station because it's too full or the bus will be late. The uh, reliability is lower than the train. The availability is only a bit higher than the train. So buses are somewhere around here. Uh, let's think about taxis. Okay, so taxis in the, big, in the bigger cities, in metropolis, have less availability than Uber because there are less of them, less availability than our private cars. They'll be somewhere here on availability and here on reliability. That's taxi in metropolis. This is Uber in metropolis. This is taxi in metropolis. However, when taxis drop in peak hours, they don't drop like Uber. They drop here. And this is taxis on peak hour. And this is the gap. Taxis, once you get a taxi station, and call them, and they'll tell you that the driver will be there, the driver probably will be there. There's no way that if you are calling a taxi station and they are promising you the ride, that you're not going to get the ride. While in Uber in peak hours, you may enter sooner a situation that you can't get an Uber. In taxi station, there is still reliability, uh, there's still good reliability. And in Smallville, where Uber drops here somewhere, the taxi station drops here somewhere. Or actually, if I go to here. This is the taxi in Smallville. And why is that? Because in Smallville, there is only one taxi station. The availability is low. It's lower than a private car, of course. But the reliability is high. Once you order a taxi from a small town to the airport, you know that the taxi driver is going to take you there. You know that he's not going to disappear somewhere. While you can't get an Uber to make that ride for sure, you can't make ride hailing take your ride for sure, you can definitely take the, taxis, the taxi in, uh, in those smaller towns because the reliability is, ho is high, though the availability is low. So the main difference here between the taxi in, and Uber is actually what the customers are looking for. Are they looking for high availability or are they looking for high reliability? And we know that in Metropolis, there are many uh, ride hailers that are actually looking for, availabil for availability. And in smaller towns, the main issue is about reliability, not about availability. This is why we take those means when we need to go to the airport. Because when we are going to the airport, we need high reliability. We don't care about availability. We'll, we'll suit our time schedule. Now, this is the case also not just in Smallville. If you are thinking at peak hours, and you are thinking about business people, if you are thinking about a lawyer who needs to go to a specific meeting, he needs to have high reliability. The lawyer doesn't care about availability that much because the meeting is set. He can order the taxi in advance. He can order actually the taxi a day in advance. And as these taxi stations have relationship with that law firm, the, the reliability is going to be high. And for that lawyer, this is the taxi station. He compensates for availability by ordering the taxi in advance and he's getting higher reliability than he would ever get from Uber. And this is the gap that, that makes sense for him. He's willing to pay with availability for better reliability. And Uber currently and all the ride-hailing companies can't compensate for that. 
let's just wrap it up, map other, uh, other uh, transportation means here. If we'll map private micromobility, private uh, scooters, they will be here. Of course, high availability, high reliability, versus if we are mapping Lime, Bird, and others, which will probably be here. which means high availability at a certain point, but at peak hours, lower availability and lower reliability uh, for the customer. Uh, and if we we'll map, uh, let's say, carpooling. Where do you think carpooling is? Carpooling is actually in the worst place, it's somewhere here. Carpool doesn't give you Not availability and definitely not reliability. The, the worst option for carpool, the worst thing is, is low reliability actually. Because it's people that need to go to work and the way that the carpool apps work currently, they can't give higher reliability for the riders. And this is the problem with carpool apps currently until they'll be able either to get very high availability, so they'll move up to this direction and get high reliability, or get high reliability by other means. For example, if you have people from the same office and there is a relationship between those people, then the reliability is going up by definition, and that specific couple up will be here and not as low as that. If you are thinking about Lime and Bird and others, or the micro-mobility apps, if they are able to, to let you order, this is what they are doing, they are letting you order the, the scooter in advance and making sure that it's waiting for you. So actually, they are making a move towards reliability. They are actually paying with availability because on that time, no one else can, can order that scooter, though it is there. But they want to give you higher reliability because reliability is the issue for most of the commuters. So this is the map between availability and reliability. And you can notice that different transportation means are floating here and are moving on peak hours uh, dropping either in availability or in reliability or not dropping. And this is why for certain people, for commuters, uh, for uh, business people that care about high reliability, this is the only options that are valid. You need to have at least certain reliability. And for ride hailing, uh, people that don't know in advance what they are doing, and need to go only on a moment notice, they can compensate, they can take this part. They need higher availability, but actually they don't care that much uh, about reliability. They are sometimes willing to wait or something like that. So they are looking for this part. Okay, so to wrap it up, I think that this reliability availability map is the best explanation we can get to how come certain people prefer certain uh, transportation mean, and we need to understand that this is where we should invest if we want to, uh, to change the transportation map uh, that we'll have in the future. We need to think about those axes and those kind and types of users, actually. In the next videos, I'm going to talk uh, more about uh, urban mathematics. Actually, I'm going to go back a bit to economy and uh, urban mathematics, but I will be speaking about specific uh, transportation means uh, across all the different uh, dimensions of them, a carpool, uh, smart buses like Via, etc., Uber again, mobi micro mobility. You are more than welcome to follow the YouTube channel and uh, write any comments, any questions that you have, uh, even if you want to dispute some of the things that I'm saying, I'll be 
will really appreciate it. So till next time, I was Ival. Bye, guys. <laughs>